Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to my channel. And on this channel we talk all about how to create comics and I'm sharing everything I've learned after creating my own comic for more than six years. But we'll also talk about art, how to create art, how to enjoy creating art and how to do art professionally and earn money with your art. If any of this is interesting to you, please feel free to engage with the buttons down below. It really helps the channel and I hope channel in turn can help you. And on this video I wanted to talk about fan art and why fan art can be fantastic practice. guys follow me on any other platform when I'm actually sharing my actual art you might notice that I create quite a lot of fan art I'm gonna show it over here fan art is something that I absolutely love doing when I have breaks between my drawings when I want to kind of refresh my palette or if I've been drawing one thing for a long time and I just want to draw something quick but something different this is now but before I really really like drawing fan art overall just because I felt like it's such a fantastic study and this such a fantastic practice. Also, there was a period in my life when I actually I did a lot of art for conventions and this is what sells the most, it's fan art, and I created quite a lot of it. And I was actually working with a fellow artist, he was creating his own comic and he was commissioning fan artwork from different artists and then he was representing them in the conventions because he was traveling around the world and then would pay us back for pieces that were sold, which was great. There I got to do a lot of fan art for characters that I never saw before and and I never watched movies with and that would be quite a lot because I'm really not a movie person. I'm very picky with my media and the media that I consume. I like to research what I'm watching and I really like when I'm watching something to really watch something that is really good quality story. I'm not really a person who just wanna in the evening watch some Netflix to kill some time. I absolutely hate killing time even when I know that some stories and some works are good. It struggles for me to carve some time for them because I just work on my story so much and I have a lot of things that are going on and and it's hard for me to consume and when I'm consuming I want to consume just the best so I'm not consuming too much media a lot of fan art that I created also was about media that I didn't particularly watch it had to do a research I personally obviously like doing fan art for something that I watched myself and I really like this is exactly because I think it's a great practice from here there is a lot of talk about fan fiction being a good practice for writers and I have mixed feelings there I definitely think that it can be but I also think that a lot of the time is self satisfactory weird thing when people are just great take characters that they like and they almost write something to satisfy their imagination and needs and sometimes it really goes on a very weird territory but at the times when it's actually trying to understand the character in the world and just write more story about this character and about this world and trying to get the character rather than make the character and make them do weird things that you're fetishizing about this difference I think it can be very helpful and especially that's why I really like fan art because in fan art it's all about actually understanding the character and understanding it well because when it's writing right you can say oh this character you know for example somebody is doing a fan fiction on Harry Potter and they're like oh this character is Harry and they're writing the character is Harry and they're describing certain things very small things about their appearance putting certain things in the description that identify this character as Harry and the reader would immediately okay this is Harry I got it when you're drawing something when you're drawing a character putting the name of the painting like you know Harry wouldn't make this character Harry you actually have to draw them really well and really nail how this character looks and really nail how this character feels so that this character feels like themselves it's basically creating a portrait and when you create a portrait you want to really draw the physical similarity you want to nail how the person looks like but you also want to nail how the character feels and what this character vibe is so this is something I think is a fantastic practice and this is something that I recommend fan art for as a typical portrait fan art is a fantastic tool as well just because you can really practice your skill of observing and transferring what you're seeing with your eyes to what you're making in creating with your hands I can create a whole video on how to draw just portrait because it's a very complicated subject I think not the portrait itself on how to draw exactly the thing you're seeing this thing that artists do all of the time when we do live drawings right but in this video I'm gonna just touch up so that when you're creating on the physical level again this is not completely in depth but I'm just giving most like example of how do you want to go and create this physical similarity when you're creating this portrait basically fan art over character you want to go and study your subject first of all it is especially good if 
if you watch the material that you are drawing for because you can observe this character like as a physical person in different angles and different lighting situation you can observe them and understand the shape of their face the shape of their body depending what area of this character you are drawing and you can just see and start understanding and kind of getting the shape and not necessarily you just thinking and uh, looking at thinking proportions already that you're gonna be you know implementing when you're drawing but just your eye is remembering how this person looks in different angles or in different lightning scenarios and your eye remember what looks like this character what feels like this character what certain features that make this character this character so this is a very great practice because as artists especially the artists who want to draw in realistic style it's very important to observe first observing is really really important and observing well and remembering everything that you are seeing and paying a lot of attention to a lot of details and nuances is what gonna really help you to be a great artist so once you're observing this character and I'm assuming again with fan art why it's great because usually you're creating fan art of something that you love so research let's say already is enjoyable you're watching TV show what you like or tune what you like or something that you like and you're observing then when it gets to drawing this is where you have to practice this very academic drawing skills which is looking at the shape and copying this shape from the same angle that you're looking at if you're feeling more advanced and if you really understand the shape the everything and anatomy you can just come up with the pose of this character and of this character face on your own but it's more of an advanced thing and you really really need to know what you're drawing and who you're drawing for example I'm drawing my characters every day in different poses and you know it took me a couple of years to really adjust and know how my characters look from really every angle and I'm not necessarily seeing that it is something that easily achievable with just observing a character in the movie I would still suggest with going the exact angle but again it's up to you but this basically this area is a great practice because you get to practice proportions I think I'm gonna make a whole video about drawing portraits but it's really understanding proportions of everything in the face towards the face so every face can be broken down in different proportions like how much this size fits into this size how much this size from the edge of your face to like the middle area of your mouth fits in the whole height of your face all of these proportions and the moment you start measuring and understanding all the proportions of the face proportions of the eyes the height towards their length how they relate to the nose if for example you're thinking about this distance how much is this distance towards the whole height of the face and as you study your actual subject and the image the screenshot whatever you're working with and this is the proportions you're paying attention and this is your eyes are looking and trying to copy and trying to understand and transmit them this is a fantastic practice on its own I obviously use a more traditional method of drawing which based on the proportions and angles in relationships of every part of the face to another part of the face again I'm gonna make the whole detailed video about this but this is a great practice on its own this is absolutely priceless it's almost like live drawing though I assume live drawing to be more advanced technique and if your subject is not moving that's great and this is something that I recommend and another thing why drawing fan art is so important because I would say just physical similarity is not something that makes your drawing look like this character is the feeling of this character it's this is like this ever evading thing that is this ever evading very vague thing that takes your portrait from yeah technically they drew this character to yeah this is this character I feel this character looking there is this something that extremely important to train in yourself as an artist is that understanding the character something what actor does when they understand their own character this is kind of something that you need to do also when you're drawing you need to understand how this character feels what this character's emotion what's the character emotion here how this character expresses their emotion I mentioned it in one other video is that something that I think is creates this magic when you're drawing a character either your own or it's a fan art if you keep in mind the feeling that this character has the vibe that this character has what this character is thinking about I think if you keep it in mind and you think about it it's gonna show in your painting it's gonna just naturally reflect in what you're drawing another thing that's very important when you're drawing a character is eyebrow area and eyes and this what like we're observing this character in the media that they're presented is very important because as you observe this character express different emotion and have different feelings and as you're looking at this character you know just a screenshot just sample that you're drawing from you have to kind of come 
combine what you see here and what you learn by observing this character and this is what you put in their eyes and their brow area and you create different tension and just different feeling in their eyes and this is also great practice for drawing emotions and to drawing vibe and overall drawing energy of the character and this is something that's very hard to nail and I think if you want to create something like comics and draw your personal characters it's really good practice to draw characters that already exist when somebody is already perfected this character especially if it is an actor who performs this character so you have a writer who probably wrote the original material the director a screen parallel writer who worked on how this character gonna be presented on the screen and you have actor embodying this character when you have all this work done for you you can all take this work and try to present it your own way I think this is extremely helpful also to learn through the fan art and another thing is giving it your own spin and kind of adding your own touches to the fan art that you're drawing I think it's also a cool thing to do because this is how you can explore your own style and when you're drawing a character that everybody knows this is where you can actually notice your own style by the way how you draw somebody that everybody knows or something that everybody knows already and you can just play and have fun with your own style and with how you draw things so this is something that I think is fantastic practice to do and that's why I think fan art is just a great thing for artists of any sort of experience to do I draw fan art pretty regularly if I take breaks I like drawing my fan art I just draw I like drawing fan art for movies where my style really fits or I like to draw fan art for cartoons where my style actually has to reinterpret those characters overall but I want to keep the vibe of these characters alive so yeah I thought I'm gonna share this short video with you and I really want to make a video about how to draw portraits but it's gonna be a pretty complicated video to do because I want to do a good job and it's a very it takes it takes <laughs> years and lectures and lectures and lectures to perfect for teachers in the art school and to teach it to you so I if I want to make this video I want to do a good job so I'm gonna take my time to figure out how I want to plan it but yeah that's it for today's video let me know if you like drawing fan art and what is your favorite fan art that you created and thank you so much guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one thank you so much guys